Hello, gang, and welcome to our last episode of Wisdom Wednesday for the month of April. Can't believe April just kind of whizzed by, um, but it has. And so I'm going to miss this conductor's cap. But uh, uh, our theme or our motto for the month of April was hop on board. I'm going to miss that train whistle, too. (laughs) But we got a fun motto coming up. Uh, next month in May that I might as well go ahead and uh, break into because uh, we've been talking about hop on board and when we get into our little scientific session here in a couple of seconds we're going to hop on board the oral systemic connection one last time for the month of April but May as you may know if you're a horse racing fan the Kentucky Derby is coming up this Saturday it's always the first Saturday in May happens to be May 1st this year, so couldn't cut it much closer than that. I love the Kentucky Derby, uh, fastest two minutes and richest two minutes in sports. Those horses go around that track, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, Pick your derby favorites. You can go online uh, to a bunch of different ones. A good field this year, and they're even going to have people in the stands. Last year, they they canceled the the, the 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 fans in the stands they ran, ran the race but uh, but uh, nobody in the stands uh, except the cameramen and all that stuff so they still made some money um, but this is it's a lot of fun to get involved with it and just read the daily uh, racing forms and and pick a horse you know uh, I was there one year and a guy in the uh, uh, bathroom with me after the derby had run they run like 10 races that day and he was jumping up and down he just won like two thousand dollars on a a a horse called mine that bird it was like a 50 to 1 long shot and he put ten dollars down and won two thousand dollars and i said why in the world did you pick that horse there was nothing about that horse that made it look like it would win and he said i just liked the name So it's about as scientific as that. Uh, There's a reason why they call them dumb animals, because they don't know that they're not supposed to win. So they just take off and run. And different ones run different in muddy tracks compared to fast tracks, compared to really muddy tracks, what they call sloppy tracks. So anyway, if you're into that stuff at all or just like a good two-minute race, it's about... 4.35 4.35 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, uh, and that'll have something to do with our um, motto for May, but uh, you'll have to wait till next week, which will also, we'll be celebrating Cinco de Mayo here in Den- Austin Dental Spa, so I might have a margarita in my hand next week uh, for Wisdom Wednesday, but our last uh, version of, uh, of Hop on Board... <laughs> We're going to hop on board the, uh, dang, I'm going to miss that train whistle. <laughs> we're we're going to uh, talk about um, the oral systemic connection. If you don't know what that is, oral systemic means the rest of the body. We were taught in dental school 40 years ago that everything that happens in the mouth stays above here. And so we don't need to worry about anything else going on uh, down below that. Now we know that's total BS, that things that are going on in the mouth are affected by the rest of the body and things that are going on in the mouth can affect the rest of the body. So those bacteria that are hanging around your teeth, if you're not getting your teeth cleaned regularly and your gums are bleeding, they're affecting your immune system and they can negatively affect the rest of your body. They can lead to uh, uh, early onset adult diabetes, they can lead to heart attacks, strokes, other cardiovascular illnesses, and uh, Uh, short-term or early-term pregnancies and low birth weight babies. All those things can be affected by out-of-control gum disease, which we call periodontal disease, uh, in its advanced stages. So where else but England would they do a study like this? They just came out with a study, only 250 people in the study, but they they had half the adults, all median age 35. So that meant some are a little older than 35, some a little under, but the, the average age between the, the participants, so they were all adults basically, all from England, uh, uh, I assume. Half the people had severe out of control periodontal disease. The other half had healthy mouths and, and were healthy otherwise, no comorbidities or health issues. And they followed these people for several months, 
and they found that the people with healthy mouths had lower blood pressure. They were checking it like several times a week. The people with gum disease, during the short-term study, six months, they found that they had overall higher blood pressure. They were two times more likely to have an increase in blood pressure during that six-month period. So you think there might be a connection between bleeding gums and blood pressure? I, I think so. The systolic numbers were in the 170s on the people with gum disease. So those bacteria aren't just staying in the mouth. They're traveling throughout your system. The higher number in a blood pressure, the systolic, is how hard your blood, I mean, your heart can pump the blood, how much pressure it puts to push the blood through your system. The diastolic, the lower number, is how quickly and how well your, your arteries and your veins recover, how they, how they snap back. So in a nutshell, that's what blood pressure is all about. And it's, it's most important to not just check it once, but to check it over a period of time on a regular basis and see if there's changes. And they certainly found changes. So you can't call it a causative factor that because they had gum disease, they had higher blood pressure, but there definitely is an association or a link because out of 250 people, half of which had gum disease, all the people with gum disease had higher blood pressures. So it's just another reason to take care of your mouth, take care of your body. Um, there is a link between uh, obesity and high blood pressure as well, but that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about today. I'm not a cardiologist. Uh, I'm just a measly dentist, but I hope that's been some helpful information for you. Um, I, we always give a little health tip. My health tip today, because we've had so many people, we're just starting to see some people uh, in the last month that have had both vaccines have waited their two weeks, and now they're just coming in to the dental office. They've been holed up at home for 13 months now. And so they're just coming in, and I ask them, what did you do all day long? They sat and watched TV, or they worked on their computer. Those are the two main activities in sleeping and drinking. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, uh, I go to a stretcher. You may or may not know, but I have a patient that is a professional stretcher, and I go to see him every Friday just to try to get some more mileage out of this old body. And he's shown me this stretch that you can do right at home on a tabletop or on your desk to just stand up, put your hands out like this where your thumbs are out. Uh, it's better on a flat surface so that your your fingers, your little fingers are matched together and to just stretch like this. Just lean forward and bend your elbows in and stretch out. I can feel that all the way up through here and on the backs of my arms too. And to just do that for 10 seconds, see how far down you can get and just hold it there for 10, 15 seconds, just like that and stretching in like that and bend your, el your elbows into your body and just stretch like that. It, you'd be amazed at how freeing that is to those tendons and ligaments in in your wrists, in your hands, in your elbows, all the way up to your shoulders. So that's my health tip. Stretch. Stretch for several minutes a day. You can get up and do that a couple of times a day when you're getting up or when you're sitting down at your computer to just put your hands out and stretch like that. See if it doesn't make a difference. I try to do that multiple times a day. So uh, and it has definitely helped. Uh, dentists don't like, uh, I mean, patients don't like dentists that can't use their hands well. So um, that's my health tip for the week. Hope y'all had a great month of April. We'll look forward to seeing you next Wednesday in the month of May, and which I'll announce not only our Cinco de Mayo celebration, but also our motto for the month of May. It'll have something to do with horses. So uh, we'll be horsing around the whole month. So see you next week.